Come check out the Connection Games and Comics. We have the largest selection of War Machine and Hordes miniatures in the Lower Mainland. War Machine Wednesdays and Sundays, with tables and terrain to play your game. Welcome back to Wargamer Shut Up and Build. Today I'll be building the Winter Guard unit. Plastic models included in the Kador all-in-one army box. Uh, first we're going to start with the unit commander. He's going to be the only model who is standing up straight with a head on in the box. Should be pretty obvious. Uh, we're not actually gluing models to these bases because we're going to use scenic bases for them. Uh, but if you're planning on just using the regular bases, throw that on. He's going to dry fit his axe arm. Uh, his axe is resting at his side. And you just glue that on right there. Pretty simple. Pretty easy. His axe is in a resting position as he's surveying the battlefield. I'm going to put some glue on the other side here. With all these models, I tend to put the glue on both sides and then assemble both arms. Uh, his gun is pointing basically straight upward. It's a very easy model to build once you've cleaned all the mold lines and whatnot. There you go. It's your unit leader. Most often not going to be the point of origin for your command in the unit. Now we're going to assemble this guy. He's uh, looking off to his left, kind of skulking about. Uh, these models, these three models, are the only grunts in the unit that have separate arms. Uh, their gun arm is pointing down compared to the unit leader. And hopefully you get a little bit of a glimpse here, but it, really the arms want to sit one way. You can mess about with them if you feel like it, but mostly you just want to put them where they feel like they fit the best. Just hold them in place until it sets. I'm going to get his loose axe arm. And these axes will be a little bit further away from the body and a little bit more dynamically posed than the unit leader. That's how you can tell them apart. There's that guy. Not too difficult. Moving on to the next grunt. This is the only model in the entire box that doesn't have a head attached. So you'll have to clean that separately and then assemble it. Stick it on during the assembly. And now it's important to note that the arms for these models are keyed. Uh, this model uses uh, an L-shaped key on the arm that attaches to the shaft of the gun rather than the grip. Uh, these arms will fit on the other models, the third grunt, but the, uh, the reverse is not true. These are the only arms that work on this particular grunt, and as such you'll have to stick with it, deal with it, take your pick. Just make sure that they're, you're using the right keyed arm with the, uh, the L-shaped slot and peg. What I like to do with these uh, double arm models, rather, where the arms are joined, and I like to just throw on glue on both sides and then a little bit on the peg as well, and then uh, and just kind of go ham, put it all together at once. It's a little bit risky, but really it's not that big a deal. It's not super difficult. With these models in particular, because the, uh, the joint is keyed, uh, you can basically just mash it all together as long as you've got the things, the bits in the right places, and uh, you'll get the glue in the right place. You'll know that this model's got his gun basically pointing straight forward, maybe a little bit upward. And then I just recommend that you throw on his head next. Uh, his head can go in a few different places. Or rather, it can only go in one place, but it can be positioned in different directions. Uh, to give the model a slightly different feel, if you'd like. So 
can either have his head facing along the gun barrel, so he's looking at his target as he shoots. You can have it off in any other direction as he's sort of surveying the battlefield and brandishing the weapon. For this guy, I choose to have him looking down the barrel of his gun. It's a pretty simple join. Just another socket and, you know, ball and socket. Now, this guy's got a loose axe. Uh, all You have enough axes included in the box to stick one to every model it isn't carrying one in hand. Um, I choose to just put some glue on the, the little nub that's on the back of the axe here. Uh, I'm holding it by the hilt and then I hold it by the blade when I'm applying it so I don't get any glue on my hands in my rare moment of gluelessness. Just stick it on his butt there. Have the, the hilt, the, the handle of the axe hanging down. Really, these are up to personal taste. I chose to throw this one on this way. Um, wasn't satisfied with my initial positioning, so I, I fixed it up a little bit. Otherwise, though, model's pretty pretty satisfactory. Pretty cool. So he's done. On to the, the last style of grunt in the box. This is the, the running man grunt, as I'll call him. Um, he also has keyed arms. This has sort of like a... Uh, chunkier, it's not really an L shape, it's a kind of a trapezoid, chunkier shape. And again, they'll, they'll fit pretty snug. Uh, this guy's arms are going to be more or less in front of him, like you'd imagine he'd be carrying the gun while he's running. Not really in a ready to fire state. And again, same deal as with the last guy, glue on both arm sockets, um, or rather on both sides of the torso, and then on the peg. And I'll jam those together as I put the model together all at once. You can do this in multiple steps. It's just I find it's harder to to fit the keyed bits in at the same uh, in separate steps rather than at the same time. And this guy's gun is going to be pointing probably forward, probably a little bit up, but not in any particular direction. Not in the direction he's facing. He's just running. He's just stuffing it. You know, want to throw an axe on him as well. Um, I actually had to cut down the nub on this axe so that it would sit properly in the position I placed it. Again, just a personal taste. Onto the Rocketeers. Pretty easy to identify their bodies. Crouch down. Again, not going to glue this guy to the base since we're using scenic bases, but if you are just using the regular bases, throw some glue on this guy and keep him in that base forever. Once again, these arms are, are keyed as well with a, a different kind of key. Um, they'll be unique to just the rockets, so you won't be able to mix these up with the other ones. Same deal as the others. Glue on both sides of the torso and on the peg. Uh, you'll notice with the Rocketeers, their right shoulder doesn't have a, a really keyed uh, joint. So you'll have to be a little bit more careful with that, but apply a little bit more pressure, um, keep it a little bit more steady because there's no peg holding it in position. Uh, I know on the other grunts, one of them is kind of loose, but it's still there to help with it. I found these guys a little bit more challenging to build as a result, but not too big a deal. Mostly just focus on uh, pushing that his left arm in, uh, our right from this perspective. And just holding everything else in place. Right, onto the backpack. This is again a pretty uh, malleable piece. You can put it wherever you feel like. Um, on the back, of course. Uh, so you can position it a little bit differently for each guy if you'd like. Um, dry fit, get a, a pretty good idea of where you want it and then just slap some glue on that. Uh, I don't really know where the contact points are going to be, so I just slather it along the, the hole of the backpack. And I set it in. If you got the right position, you can set it in almost instantly. Uh, I didn't have the right position here, so I had to readjust a little bit. 
I decided to readjust so that his axe, which I'm planning on placing to the right of the backpack, uh, would fit a little bit better. Stabilizing that for the last little bit of the, the glue setting. And we're going to slap that last axe in question on. Just throw it up there on his, uh, his belt there. Underneath his arm, you know. He's got to have something to fight in melee with. And a rocket launcher isn't going to make a very good job. Not a very good melee weapon anyway. Not compared to a hand axe. And this guy was just able to leave the, the nub on the axe as is. Just jam it right in there. If you're using pretty good glue, you shouldn't really have to hold light pieces like this for very long. Just be able to jam them on for a couple seconds and you're good. There's your Rocketeer, and uh, I drop him because dropping stuff is fun. So you have three different models, uh, three different grunt models, and you have three each of each grunt and the Rocketeers in the box. As you're seeing me indicate there. Three each of those four models and only one of the unit commander. Uno, yeah.